Washington, by skipping President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration, President Donald Trump will break from White House tradition, but won't make history, when he misses the ceremonial peaceful transfer of power. Trump will become the first outgoing one-term president to refuse to attend the inauguration of his successor since 1869 when President Andrew Johnson stayed in the White House as Ulysses S. Grant was sworn in as the 18th president. One-term presidents John Adams in 1801 and John Quincy Adams in 1829 also chose not to attend the inaugurations of the presidents who replaced them, Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson, respectively. Both left Washington before the ceremonies. It's crucial for the peaceful transfer of power. It's about respect, said presidential historian Kate Anderson Brower. She pointed to the nation's last two one-term presidents, George H. W. Bush and Jimmy Carter, who both attended inaugurations after losing elections. Brower said they took their losses, very personally, but there's always an understanding that the country is more important than your ego. That's obviously not the case here. Trump confirmed he won't attend the January 20 inauguration of Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris in a tweet Friday. It was no surprise after Trump spent the weeks since his November 3 election loss leveling false claims of voter fraud to try to overturn the election. One of the few things he and I've ever agreed on, him not showing up, Biden told reporters. Conversely, he said he would welcome Vice President Mike Pence's attendance and would be honored to have him there. Like Trump, Johnson's decision came less than a year after he was impeached by the House. Johnson, a Democrat from Tennessee, and Grant, a Republican former Civil War general, despised each other. Grant supported Johnson's impeachment. While Grant was sworn into office in front of the Capitol, Johnson met with cabinet members and signed bills, according to the Washington Post, following a last-minute decision not to attend. For his part, Grant refused to ride in the same carriage as Johnson from the White House to the Capitol. The plan was for them to ride in separate carriages. But when Grant showed up at the White House 30 minutes before the ceremony, Johnson did not come out. At noon, Johnson stood up and shook hands with his cabinet members, the Post's historical account says. As he headed out the door for the last time, he said, I fancy I can already smell the sweet mountain air of Tennessee. Trump's move comes despite ensuring a smooth, orderly and seamless transition, and calling for healing and reconciliation, just one day earlier as he finally conceded the election. Trump faces the possibility of a second impeachment led by Democrats in response to pro-Trump rioters who stormed the Capitol as Congress counted electoral votes Wednesday confirming Biden's victory.